the things I do for the community. Today I have an extraction of my tooth. And it's hurting me very much to want to talk, but uh, it is all for the community here to help. About the Corruptor Tor seems to be a powerful attacker titan. About the, the Nexus, the Nexus summons, you know, uh, Corruptor Titans. And they have amount of great damage, especially Zeus and uh, the Pava. Let's so about the Titans, they are no seven Titans. But in the case with Likaon, oh, this is this are the Twilight Hordes. Likaon summoned 15 of them and they will do the job. They are powerful attackers, they have quite of health and the damage is insane and great. Uh, I like them, they are powerful troops. He summons 15 of them, but Corruptor, he summons 18 of them. And this is gonna also three more of them if you you know how to put the spells right for sure you know you will get the job done uh let's uh, go further about the health let's talk about the health a comparison between the health of the cow nixus and corruptor nixus and the corruptor they have the same health there is no difference everything even the the, the titan health 60% base titan health, it is the same, there is no no, no more changes. But the problem they count here, here in the, his prestige, he have a minus 20% of his skills of the prestige. So, so there is a minus 20% base health from the titan troop is missing. <clears throat> so for this one, I get Nexus a point and the Corruptor, uh, Corruptor, uh, Corruptor Titan, a point so uh about the damage the damage with like own without you know this is at prestige number you know uh, they needed prestige with also without any relics so uh, the base damage with nika own it's only 100 percent with nixis and uh, the new corruptor corruptor he have 120 percent so there is an extra 20% of the damage, it's there. So right now, Nika on it's, you know, at the third spot. Because we have Nexus Corruptor at the first spot and the second spot. Then Nexus have 100, uh, 1620 damage. Although the Corruptor have 100, uh, 1,001. 520 uh, percent damage so there is a gap of difference by 100 percent damage between nixus and the corruptor and this is kind of awesome and great so uh for this one nixus have two points and corruptor the, he, right now he ha he hold the second spot of of the best uh of best of the three attackers corruptor Likaona, and nixus about the armor piercing, Likaon have with everything or everything in the game, you will have 1000% armor piercing. With Nixus, you will get almost one. Like I said, Likaon have almost 1000% uh, armor piercing. Nixus have 1300% armor piercing, but Corruptor here have uh, uh, 1200% armor piercing with the relic. Offer it in the event. The relic in the event offer you uh, an extra 300% armor piercing uh, alongside with the sun base damage, with also uh, with also uh, uh, and the titan skills also guaranteed you 400% with 500% in the base skills. So this is about the armor piercing. About the RP missing here, Nixus still hold the first place, second one Corruptor, third one is Likaon. So uh, if you missed the chance to get Nixus Likaon, Corruptor is the best option for you. Uh, going further, uh, going further off the critical, it's 40%, 44%, everything like uh, the same, the resistance, it's the same. 
the million range it's the same there is no difference it's the same uh, about about the debuff the debuff of nixis at pristine number seven it's huge and this is great and very you know it's reachable at p7 but uh, the uh, but like on have to be on the first set you know without opening prestige you get the debuff 50 percent debuff there and this is kind of awesome this is great for this one the eligibility and the, you know to get the, the the prestige gone without without prestige lika on hold the spot of the debuff after you have nixis after the corruptor the corruptor the problem with the corruptor here that you cannot open the debuff only at prestige number 10 it will cost you 18 or uh, void titan you know to get him to prestige number 10 this is huge and this is will cost you a lot about the summoning lika on summons 15 troops nixa 7 and the corruptor 24 which after all of this which one is the better on this one you, uh, you on the titan here you are relying on the troops for sure not the titan but the titan must keep him alive because why because you need that critical the critical chance here with the titan will help you a lot will help you believe me it will make the, the, the big difference uh, it will make it will make the big difference you know because you will need it the extra 100 percent the extra armor piercing etc so in summer you know let's summarize all of that the first big best attacker you know the bad the best attacker of the whole game it is nixus if you don't have nixus corruptor it is the second best attacker on the whole game and this is a great titan you are relying on the great troops at prestige number seven corruptor is a decent attacker and he kill he can kill some titans it will it will struggle but still a decent attacker he hold the second best def attacker on the whole he hold the spot of the best second attacker in the game uh what is also about the relics there is a diversity of relics the clandestine pawn there you have the zapava uh amber of zapava is there uh, you have the relic effort in the event also is there and this and the great relic it will guarantee you do too much uh, the base health and base damage uh, sorry a base damage and the sun armor piercing with the counter spells and this is also great uh, so uh, an infiltrator it's always an attacker so uh, about let's get to conclusion the conclusion does the titan worth the grant the titan itself like i said if you don't have Lycaon or, or nixis corruptor is the way to go if you have them then the relic offered in the event are great we have the clover uh, we have also we have the elemental grasp and those are one of the best uh relics about uh, resistance and uh, base health sorry today i have an extraction of my tooth it hurt me a lot but uh yeah let's continue uh then uh, if you don't uh, have them then get the Titan, but the relics in the event they are great they are powerful relics you need them but the key here there is the relic in the event after in the event it's the stuff of time it's we guaranteed you an extra time in the, in the battlefield especially against the chronos 
with an external element that resists, with the external piercing, with some base damage. The relic is unique, the great. I like that very much. If I have done enough resources, I will get it for sure. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm a defensive. I'm a kind of player who like defense more than attack. For me, I'm waiting for the next, you know, the relic that will give you an extra time on defense, uh, minus time for the attacker, um, plus for me. Uh, yes. Does the event worth the grand? The event is unique and great. For the next week, we have a Sha uh, Baba Yaga Kamen, Baba Yaga and the Conquest, uh, Baba Yaga and the Conquest, and uh, the Conquest of Freya. You will get uh, her synergy uh, alongside with the uh, some prestige for the Titans. Uh, Baba Yaga will come as a defender. And uh, with skeletons, it's can it's been a while. We didn't see a totem with the skill of skeletons, you know, on defense, like uh, Sikhmet, uh relying on the on the spells on defense. It's kind of great. So uh, but yeah, I got defensive titan with uh, skeletons in defense. Uh, maybe with the add the stuff of Simon the the events gonna be great. If it is true, I'm going for sure. Uh, I think this is all. Thank you for watching. I hope I did provide you the right information that can help you on the battlefield to decide what is the Titan 